So to add another instrument to our project, we go up to the top left hand corner to the instrument browser button, which is the big square with the two smaller squares on either side. When you tap that, it will take you to this view here. And if you scroll along, you'll find bass guitar and then select smart bass down in the bottom left. Okay, so now we've created a bass guitar track and we want to go into our tracks volume controls and turn off the sound of the keyboard chords that we've already recorded so that as we record our bass notes, all we're doing is listening to that click and playing in time to the beat. So to do that, we need to go up to the top left again and this time we're going to tap the tracks view button, which looks like a brick wall. And now you can see there's your piano chords that you've already recorded there in green. And below that is your bass guitar track, okay? So down the left-hand side, we have this gray bar with all our instruments on it. And halfway down is a little button that we can swipe to the right to reveal the track's volumes, okay? And what we want to do is tap on the headphones of the bass guitar to turn those yellow and now you'll see that your piano track has turned grey so we haven't deleted that recording but we've turned it off for the moment so that we won't hear it so up at the top check that your metronome is blue that means your click track is turned on if your metronome is white you need to tap it to turn it blue your piano track should be grey and your bass guitar headphones should be yellow. So once you've got those three things, go up to the top left and you'll find a button with a tiny bass guitar. And that will take you back here, ready to record your bass notes. So we're going to record section A first. So we need to select that section. So going along the ruler to the plus sign, we're going to select section A. When you tap to come out of that menu, check that your ruler is now starting with letter A, number one, and it should only show numbers one and two. So the bass notes are being, going to be recorded tapping the lowest string for G and the second string up for D. Okay, and the notes are the same as they were for the piano chords. So section A is G, 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 D, D, G, G. So again, you should practice along to the clicks until you've got that confident in time with the beat and then you can record. So I'm just going to record mine now after my counting of four. G, two, three, four, five, If you want to re-record, remember your arrow will not be at the beginning once you've recorded, so you need to tap return next to the play button there. Check your arrow is at the start and then re-record. Once you've completed it correctly, number one to two should be green. Then we'll tap the plus sign and select section B. When you come out of that menu, your ruler should now start with letter B, number three, and finish with number eight. And again, the notes are the same as they were for the keyboard chords. So it's four Gs, four Ds, and you repeat that three times in a row. So I'll just record that now. tap return if you're re-recording. Once you have successfully recorded both bass sections and your ruler should be green along the top, go to the plus sign and select all sections. Check that your ruler now starts at number one and finishes at number eight 
and it should be green all the way along. And then we'll quantize the base track. So tap on track controls in the top left, track settings, quantization, and then we're going to select straight quarter note, the same as we did for the keyboard track, because we're playing exactly on the quarter note beat of the clicks, okay? So once you've matched your menu to mine, you can tap track controls to exit. And we have completed our bass recording. Well done.